everyone, my name is Irina. Welcome back to my channel Russian Reaction and Review. Subscribe this channel before we start. Put your heart and the bell button to do not forget about it. All right, so we're gonna watch the most offensive jokes ever from British people. So, and the scariest part for me today, I do not understand their accent. So, I know I have an accent probably like heavy accent so and this is what scares me because sometimes when you're talking to people some certain people with the accents i do not understand so today i'll try to understand the jokes and the accent so i'm a little bit uh, i'm not scared it's just gonna be interesting experience okay let's start The answer is three billion. What is the question? Is it what is the excess on Richard Hammond's car insurance? <laughs> walking around. <laughs> it's what he would have wanted. <laughs> Sorry, I know that's probably not funny for any mildly autistic people in the audience. <laughs> then again, nothing is. <laughs> Do you know those people? Inadvised things to say in court. The case for the prosecution is based on one compelling piece of evidence. The defendant is black. <laughs> that the was the metro station with its depressing murals as the mecca for suicides. Not to be confused with the mecca for suicide bombers, which is mecca. <laughs> according to the Times... According to sit around watching people open empty boxes all day, I'd spend Christmas morning at Kerry Katona's house. <laughs> uh, unlikely lines to read in the Bible. <laughs> okay. The characters in this book are entirely fictitious. <laughs> you know why so many American kids die in high school massacres? It's because they're not allowed to run in the corridors. <laughs> Take your time with that, that's wrong on a number of levels. <laughs> now, if there's any Muslim fundamentalists in the room, right? You see this microphone? I'm calling it Muhammad, right? And it's fucking gay. It's a gay microphone called Muhammad, and all it wants to do is roll the Quran up and fuck itself up the ass. All right. Now, for me, the luckiest guy in the world Jack Tweed, Jade Goody's old boyfriend. <laughs> I haven't fucking done it yet. Because <laughs> he presumably made some money out of selling his story. Got plenty of sympathy sex, apparently consensual. <laughs> Doesn't have to bring up the kids, they're somebody else's kids. And because she died from cervical cancer during the three weeks that they were married, she got thinner and better looking and her pussy got tighter. <laughs> I feel so horrible right now. Before the cancer, she'll have had a fanny like a canoe. <laughs> you don't know whether to finger her or get in and row her. <laughs> a lot of guys on dates going, this isn't funny. Exactly. I'd like to be in that wedding ceremony. To death do you part? Friday? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I feel like Everyone. I need to Hello, learn English Nana. again. Hello, Grandad. Hello, Uncle who used to touch me. <laughs> How did you get up here? <laughs> oh, that's right, you used to work for the church. <laughs> they had around one time things you would say that would change the atmosphere at a dinner party. And I said, if we're all here, who's looking after Madeline? <laughs> I do not understand this guy, so Personally if somebody can World explain me his jokes. Like World War II and women's rights. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. Here's my opinion, for what it's worth. I think you know a girl is too young for you if you're having to make the aeroplane noise to get your cock in her mouth. <laughs> Here comes the train into the tunnel. 
famous last word. Stingrays love foreplay. <laughs> I'll bet you I can jump that ticket barrier. <laughs> People say dolphins are really intelligent. I think, yeah, but only compared to the retarded kids we got them swimming with. <laughs> Come on. On the subject of abortions, a lot of people support a woman's right to choose. But I think, if I'm paying for it... <laughs> I'm joking, I never pay. It doesn't cost anything to fall down the stairs, does it? <laughs> Some of these girls, I swear, they think I'm made of coat hangers. <laughs> they say makeup. there's safety in numbers, yeah? Tell that to six million Jews. <laughs> really, London? Really? A round of applause? Is, is it, it a show? Is it a plane? Whatever it is, it's heading straight for the World Trade Center. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Joker? You'll be back. Somehow, I don't think you will be. <laughs> 99% percent of women kiss with their eyes closed, which is why it's so difficult to identify a rapist. That's disgusting. I'm so sorry. That's Let's disgusting. Let's have a little time out there <laughs> and discuss the rules of the gig. Skating outfit. I, I've got this image of all these record producers coming up to her and going, <laughs> So, Kylie, we're doing this new rave thing, and it's like this 80s synthesizer, and her just going, Oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> all right. And you've got to wear like this uh, futuristic <laughs> roller skating outfit. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right, that sounds, <laughs> that sounds fine. How much am I getting paid for this? Oh, $10 million. Ten, oh, I'll put that in my savings account. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wish I had a baby. Oh, that's a... Oh. <laughs> You to mention. Apparently Jordan and Peter Andre are fighting each other over custody of Harvey. Although eventually one of them will lose and have to keep him. I hope you're having a great time right now. <laughs> I have a theory that Jordan married a cage fighter because she needed someone strong enough to stop Harvey from fucking her. My last tour, and I don't give a fuck anymore. Oh, finally! <laughs> I was waiting when it's gonna be done. That's horrible. Some of those jokes, I mean, like, it's called some of the most offensive jokes, you know, and I'm surprised nothing was about the Russian people actually. So, um, I hope you had a great time. So, can you explain me some of the jokes which I did not understand? Because I feel a little bit like confused and weird, but it is what it is. Like I said, I don't understand their accent. Like it's it's difficult for me. So I I have some somebody to show you. <laughs> this is service dog. He has something to say. So he looks so cute in this thing and I love it. So a little bit bye from Montana. Guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. I love you. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you still didn't. The bell button is really important for me. It's gonna support me a lot. Subscribe to Patreon and I'll see you soon.